Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Kanya Art and Craft. This is Devo Priya. Hope you all are doing well. And as you can see, today I have tried a peacock painting on a plate. Uh, so in this video, I'll be sharing tips and tricks to work on a MGF board and few blending techniques. And guys, please do subscribe to my channel if you really like this video and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notification of my upcoming projects. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Taking a 10 inch diameter MDF board, thickness of this board is 6 mm. Always try to buy at least 4 mm or 6 mm thickness board for this kind of painting. And I have also fixed one hook on the back side of the board. Now applying white acrylic color. Uh, you can also apply gesso as a base coat. Let it dry for at least 1 hour. I have applied 2 layers of base coat to get a uniform surface. Now I have traced the design on the board using a carbon paper and applying cadmium yellow color on the background using flat brush number 6. I will be applying a second layer of the same yellow color on the background part to make the background look uniform. But do remember to apply the second layer only after the first layer dries out completely. As you can see, I have sketched few flowers and leaves around the peacock. Now applying white color on the lotus as a base coat. After that, we'll do the shading part. And now I'm applying green color as a base coat for leaves. I will be applying two layers of the same color on all the parts to make it look uniform. Applying Cerulean Blue. Applying Dark Green. To get this color, you need to mix a little amount of black with Sap Green. Now applying orange color. Applying a little darker shade on the borders. I have added a little amount of black color with the green to make it little darker. And using the same green color for shading. Okay, so I usually receive one question from my viewers that how do I end up getting such neat and clean and uniform finish in my painting? Uh, so there are many ways to minimize the patchiness in your painting. You can apply a thick layer of the paint or the other option you can work on multiple layers. And I always prefer to work on layers as you can see I have applied a layer of green color as a base coat. After the base coat has dried up I have applied another layer of the same color to minimize the patchiness. So following the same process I have applied 2-3 to three layers of base coat on each part to minimize the patchiness. After that I have started working on the shading part. To highlight the feather, now I am applying a little darker shade of blue. Here I am giving small strokes to give it a feather like effect. We will continue this stroke till neck. To make this color, I have mixed equal amount of Prussian blue and cerulean blue. Now applying few strokes with a darker shade of orange to highlight the feather. Applying few strokes of light green color. If you 
have noticed, I have applied a few strokes of darker shade from the bottom line. I'm very sorry that I forgot to record that part where I have applied the stroke of darker shade. So what you can do, you can mix a little amount of black with sap green and apply few strokes from bottom part. Then you can highlight the top part with lighter shade of green. To achieve this shade, you need to mix a little amount of yellow with sap green. Now applying few strokes of lighter shade of pink on the lotus. To create this light pink shade, you need to mix white with crimson. Uh, so the ratio would be 4 is to 1. 4 portion of white and 1 portion of crimson. And here I'm using brush number 00 because this thin brush will help me to achieve these thin strokes. Okay, so this is my first layer of pink. After that, I'll also apply another layer of dark pink to highlight the lotus. Applying a little more darker shade of pink on the top part of the lotus to highlight. using white glass marker to draw few more designs okay so one tip here if you want to draw something over the paint then always prefer to use a color pencil or a glass marker don't use pencil as the sharpness of the pencil might spoil your painting Applying pearl metallic gold color on the border. I have applied 3 to 4 layers of pearl metallic gold on the border to get this effect. Applying orange color. Applying cerulean blue. Applying grey color and blending the color using a wet brush. I have mixed white and black to get this color. Draw small zigzag lines using darker shade of grey like this. using 3D outliner. Using dot painting tool to apply small dots. You can also use toothpick or the back end of your brush to apply such kind of dots. And this is how it looks. So was this video helpful to you? Do let me know in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon to get notification of my upcoming projects. And if you are recreating this painting, then don't forget to share with me in my Instagram page. Till then, stay safe and have a nice day. Bye-bye.